Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I'd like to welcome all of you back for another video. Anyways, there's no um, new subscribers to announce, um, no shave November, November, and this is just bugging the crap out of you, ain't it Christian? <laughs> Anyways, my friend Christian, he pointed out that I kind of do this a lot and Honestly, guys, it's subconscious. I don't even know I'm doing it half the time. Anyways, so, um, like I was saying, no shave November, Movember. It's gone. It's done. It's out of here. So, you know, time to take stuff off. Or is it? Anyways, a big thanks to Abe Froman. He suggested the, um, Fu Manchu. I wore Fu Manchu years ago. Uh, for about four or five years, forgot how much I liked it, grew in a full-on goatee, um, don't want to grow one of those back, because, I mean, I wore one for too long, but my girlfriend really likes this more than she thought she would, I like it, so, you know what, it's going to stay, at least for a while, anyways, so, yeah, we're going to shave all this other stuff off, so, I got about three, four days growth, and um, it's time for a shave. Tonight's gear is going to be the razor. I do not believe that I've done want a video with it yet. And it is this one, my 1951 Gillette Super Speed Regular Tip. It's just got a straight tip. Um, it is a twist open razor, like all Super Speeds. Um, the blade in it is a brand new Shark Super Chrome. Um, the packaging looks like this. They come in a cardboard tuck, a five. Um, they are single, single wrapped blades, but it's a good thick paper. So, you know, and they are Egyptian blades from what I understand. They're made there in Egypt. Um, I believe all shark blades. I believe Lord blades are made in Egypt as well. Um, but anyways, so, yeah, I really like the Shark Super Chrome, so we're going to go ahead, haven't I used one in a while, so we're going to go ahead and knock all this stuff off with one. The brush is my, I want to go with a bore brush tonight, so we're using my Omega 10066 in the faux ivory handle. The soap, since it is Wednesday, it is hump day, so that's right guys, K-Shave works. Hump day. Absolutely love this soap. It is one of my favorite scents, hands down, ever since I first used it. Um, for once, I'm going to be a good YouTuber. Um, I will be from time to time. It will be rare. The scent notes in this is bright orange, grapefruit, pineapple, vanilla, and Cossack, whatever that is. Or Cossack, whatever that is. Um, but it's just great soap. So anyway, got that ready. So let's go ahead. And let's just, what the heck, yeah, get, get loading here, anyways, around here, my um, kid has an ear infection, the girlfriend, she, um, she's kind of sick, um, me, luckily, I'm doing pretty well, but any of you have been watching this channel for a while, you know I have a guide dog named Herbie, and um, he's going to be 12 on Valentine's Day. Now, most guides... The average work expectancy of a, of a guide dog is just, is about, they normally retire on their 8th, ninth year. Like I said, Herbie's going to be 12. It's a pretty good load. And, um, he's still going strong. I was. <clears throat> Hang on, guys. Get some water on the face. Shaved towel. Hang on, guys. 
ended up having to grab a washcloth. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, um, most guides, they normally work until they're eight or nine. Herbie's going to be 12 on Valentine's Day. And, um, he started limping. And, um, uh, it was, this was just kind of dripping off the brush, so to speak. But, um, he started limping real bad on the front leg. He had somehow sprained a back leg here several months back. I was thinking, oh man, he sprung his leg, his front leg this time. And, um, took him into the vet. And, um, who's great. She's actually a guide dog for the blind puppy raiser here in Bakersfield. Here where I live. And um um anyways. She uh so she's really good with guides. Her whole the whole the whole pet hospital and if you come across this video and you live here in Bakersfield, California. And you're looking for a good vet for your pet. Mm. Stockdale Veterinarian Clinic or a veterinarian hospital. Um, they're excellent. Gonna get a little bit of water in here. Anyways, she told me, told us, me and my girlfriend. Bring him back Tuesday. Well, we took him back yesterday. Um, he is going to get sedated and everything and get x rays. <sighs> he, um, they diagnosed him with pretty, pretty, pretty decent case of arthritis in his front leg, in his neck. Um, which apparently is radiating down into the shoulders and uh, into the back somewhat but um, mainly into his shoulders on that one side and um, so they got him on I can't remember the name of that but it's a anti-inflammatory um, strict bed rest and for pain they put him on a medication called gabapentin which just so happens to be a medication that humans can that humans take as well for pain so he's Feeling pretty good most days. <laughs> you know, he gets that gabapentin in him and he's like, whoo yeah. Um, he don't like sedation though. He does not like coming out of sedation. So, he's dealing with pain and, you know, it looks like, well, she's going to contact Guide Dogs for the Blind up there in San Rafael, California, outside of San Francisco. The shark super chrome first pass with the grain um, smooth comfortable more than sharp enough for my growth. Um, of course the K Shave works offer an outstanding slickness and glide. So Really, really, really love K-Shape Work Soaps. Um, so.
So if you are interested in case shape works, if you don't have any in the den, and you're interested in it, and you're like, hey, you yeah. know, is it worth the cost? Yeah, it is. Plus, they give, as far as I know, free shipping in the U.S. Which is good. that is going to be finding out what course of action they want her to take because more likely they're going to be paying for a big chunk of it because quite honestly <clears throat> I don't have the funds it takes for major veterinarian costs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off real quick. And um, guide dogs for the blind. They don't just give you a guide and say, have a nice life. When they make you, you know, team up, when they team you up with a guide, Sorry guys, I'm thirsty. Um, you know, they go ahead and if you can't afford veterinarian costs, they help you out. Um, which is the main, pretty much the main reason. Well, besides that, they have an excellent reputation, guide dogs for one, as far as school goes. But, um, they, uh, you know, not only help you take care of your guide while your guide is active, but they will help you with your guide's veterinarian cost on when your guide is retired, if need be, which is great because... If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be able to have a guide, quite honestly. Because, you know, if you have a service dog of any kind and that service dog goes down, you got to take care of it. So if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't have a guide. Going across the screen, because the Fu Man shoe isn't thick enough. So, smooth, very smooth blade. Got the house move. But, um, but yeah, so I'm kind of thinking that they're probably, well, possibly going to call me up and say, hey. It's time for Herbie to retire, which I get around good with a white cane, I really do, but um, he's been my partner since 2009, so yeah. I might have just nicked myself, not sure. But, um, he's been by my side pretty much the whole time since, so.
rinse off here. We'll apply lather, apply soap with the glass pass. But uh, so yeah, it's going to be odd walking down the street without Herbie on my on my left. Tires. I'm going to do something that I would have never done while well, I was an active guide. I'm going to go out and get one of those big ass gallo salamis in red, green, and white package that you see hanging up in the, you know, meats aisle in your Winko. Food Max, whatever it is, the store you might be in. And me and Herbie is going to sit down and I'm going to give him some slices of that because his entire life he's never, I have never purposely, other than a piece of cheese once, um, I have never purposely given him human food. He did something that was really, really good. He did a real good job. And I just had one of those little blue bell, little round cheese wheels, single cheese wheels, single person cheese wheels, and said, here you go, buddy. He gobbled that up like, oh yeah, that's good, Dad, let me have another. But I'm going to share a gavel with, my, with him. So, he gets the grain. Up at an angle here on the neck. So... He went to kid having an ear infection and the old lady being sick. I might be coming down with something, I'm not sure. That's about what we've been doing around here. So. At least the nice thing is, is today, my girlfriend took her son to the doctor and the doctor gave him antibiotics and stuff, so I forgot how much I love these shark super crumbs. Thank you, Christian. Um Got a whole sleeve of Oshkod in there too. Oh, you know, Christian took one and took two thinking they were the sharks. Oh. And my brother, he goes. through the e blades very slowly because well these days because he's growing a beard and and even though he's got what Vander Hagen razor 34c um, a long handle atomic razor um, that I gave him and his 1967 Black Hammer Super Speed which I gave him yeah he still uses disposables he only does DE shaves when he has time um, which when he was working he didn't have a lot of time for DE shaves except on the week on his days off anyways so we're gonna go ahead and rinse off here um, do the dome and I'll be back in a few minutes I'll be back in a minute and we'll do the post. 
All right, see you in a minute. Oh yeah, guys, by the way, tonight's beverage is provided by the North of the River Municipal Water Company. Street name, Tap Water. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that was a really, really good shave. Um, pretty sure the food man's all good. Um, yeah, have my girlfriend look at it. She might touch it up a little. It's kind of cool that she's, I'm kind of glad that I grew this in because she touches it up and, you know, she's giving her more and more confidence to sit there and go ahead and, you know, pick up a DE with a blade in it. And, um, she hasn't cut me yet. She hasn't cut me yet trimming up here and here. So I got to give her that. So maybe I can switch her over to, you know, shaving with one. Anyways, but the face is just, I mean, those shark super chromes, very smooth, very, I mean, sharp blade. Um, not, not feather sharp, but you know, it's, I don't know. I'd say it's about a seven, maybe an eight as far as sharpness goes, you know, um, and as far as smoothness, it's uh, up there pretty good too. Um, so if you haven't tried the Shark Super Chromes out of Egypt, give them a try. Um, they're really good. The Shark Super Stainless, they ain't bad either. Um, but I prefer the Super Chromes over the Super Stainless. Um, my head, baby butt smooth, man. Um, the Razor, that 1951 first quarter, or W1 Gillette. Regular tip, super speed, you know, um, it's not the mildest of razors, but then again, I mean, it's not the most aggressive, but then again, it's, it's not as mild as, you know, I think it's definitely above, uh, say a 67 black handle, super speed, um, maybe up close to a flare, I'm not sure, um, I just like it, I really like it, um, and it was a gift too. It's tough. So winner, winner, chicken dinner for me when it comes to the super speed. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and let's move on to the post. Um, I know a lot of guys out there, they're the fans of the Humphreys or the Thayers, Witch Hazel, but you know, I don't know. I just really, really prefer the Dickinsons. Um, I can get it at my local Dollar General, five bucks a bottle. Um, nothing against theirs, nothing against Humphreys. I've never used either of them, but, you know, I like this. I like the Dickinsons. Um, I really do. And, shoot, five bucks for that size bottle, you know. So that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. And I think I'll use the Takata for Takata. Yeah, Takata for men. Aftershave bomb. I don't use this one that much. It's actually got alcohol in it, so it does got a little bit of a burn. And um, but the scent's not bad. It's a little thicker. So it's a little bit heavier bomb. So, oh, not a lot of burn tonight from it. So, uh, I put a little bit too much in my hand. Oh, there it goes. The burn's kicking in. I don't know. Might be the. Hmm. It might be the alcohol in it. It might not. I don't know. It's not painful burn, you know, but it's definitely got to be the alcohol in it. And I put too much in my hand, so. And there we go.
There we go. Yeah. Rub that in. Like I said, it's a thicker bomb, so it takes a minute to rub in. So, I mean, I gotta be in the mood for it. Uh, usually, I prefer my Nivea. And tonight, the aftershave will be Skid, mm, Skin Bracer by Menon. Yeah, the other day I used that, um, I used my Bear Stern Man Bay Rum, and, uh, the aftershave I used was that Florida Water, and, um, I, you know, the spiciness of the Florida Water went very well with the spiciness of the Bay Rum, so... It's a good match if you got if you like Florida water and you like Bay Rum and if you haven't done it yet um, go ahead and give it a try especially if you got the B&M the Bear Sherman man it's a really good match um, as far as um, since, ooh, yeah, there's the skin brace. There's the cooling and the burning of the skin bracer or the heat from the skin bracer. So, anyways, guys, that's the shave. Um, it's done, it's over. Um, you know, you know, the you know, you know how to get home if you want to, and you know, um. I'll go ahead and I'll let you guys go. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. And, um, and I hope y'all take it easy. And, you know, uh, I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.